boy Freeze, and I'm back at the compound. And I got something stupid for y'all right now. This shit is crazy. I got the cast of the veil to come sit down and chop it up with y'all. And we about to get into it. We about to know all about the show, all about what's going on. But what's so dope is, I don't know how the fuck I was able to do this. My nigga Braille helped me pull this off, but I got Bug and D's here. You know what I'm saying? The, the nigga that's shooting at the kids, yeah, the nigga right in here with me right now, bro. Like facts, if you ain't seen this shit, go check it out. It's called the Veil Web Series on YouTube. Watch this shit, binge this shit, watch it, you're gonna enjoy it. It's well shot. Soundtrack is crazy. The title <laughs> the um title record, <laughs> and they coughing like he got cold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He coughing, he can't cough no more in life. Man. You can't cough, you can't sneeze, you can't do nothing no more. Nigga don't even say bless you no more. You feel me? But nah, like real shit, you gotta go check this shit out. You gotta get on it. The motherfucking title track is um I think it features Bug. I don't hear nobody else on it. All I hear is Bug and this shit is hard. Like that's something that I don't know if you can get it on iTunes or where you can get it, but that's a record that that's like a, a, a staple for the series that kinda um kinda puts you in the mind of fifty on power when you watching power when it first come on and it's like a staple track <laughs> that just kinda like stains you and it sticks in your mind and takes you where it's going. So that being said, here's the cast of the veil. My nigga Bug, my nigga D's, and my nigga Brill. Peace. Thank y'all for coming in, man. What up for you? Yes, sir. Man, see, that's the nigga that was coughing right there in the back. When I was doing the talking, the nigga that was doing all the coughing, that was D's. The nigga that be shooting at the kids. Look at the blunt he rolled, man. He came up in here talking about, I want the rapper Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Where the rapper I want to smoke at. with the rapper smoke. <laughs> yeah. I want to get hot. Get hot for a change. I'm looking at you and shit. I'm looking at how you was introducing us and shit. I was like, oh, yeah, that nigga. You good, you good at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just it's real, man. Like I just wanted yeah. to that's the whole purpose of this, man. Like I wanted to use my platform and what I be doing in my little situation to expose the people to the niggas who I think is dope. And you've been doing you know this. Yeah, yeah, like been I've been doing this for a long time. time. Been yeah, been but long time. but I really got some dope friends. Yeah. So when when I'm sitting back and I'm watching Drink Champs or if I'm watching Joe Budden do pull up or any one of these shows. I'm like, shit, I got niggas that I fuck with in my phone that's just as hard. Yeah. You know, that's just as legendary. Yeah. That has that just as many accomplishments or just as much street cred from where I'm from. Yeah. So why don't I put that and show that to the masses? To the world, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, before we get into the the <coughs> the series and discussing how y'all came up with this <coughs> shit, you know, the writing, the directing, all that, before we get into that. I wanna, I want y'all to introduce yourself, but I wanna start right here with Bug, cause Bug is one of the people who's been one of the front runners of music and leading this, this, this Southwestern movement since like the, the 90s. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that being said, I don't want you to give away too much, cause I want, I wanna bring you to the other show, yeah. and we gonna shoot pool and get on the pool table, okay. and we gonna vibe out. And I, I don't wanna sure. get in depth about your story. And, you know, the journey and everything that you've done. <coughs> but that being said, just for a real quick, just let them know who you are. I'm Bug, Jabbar, you know, Bug on the streets, Bug in that booth. Um, just, you know, just, just an Arizona, uh, Arizona legend. Uh, I've been out here putting it in, get, getting it in, getting my hands dirty for shit for years. Um, you know, just, that's, that's about it, man. Just get my hands dirty and try to, try to get this movement going. You know, there's this Maryville movement. This Arizona movement, <coughs> you know, just just connect with everybody, collab with everybody, and, you know, just get get our lives out there, man. We're on Front Street, and let everybody see see what we're doing out here, you know, see what see what talent we got out here on the mic, behind that camera, you know, everything, everything. So that, that's yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah. Bees. My name is Deshay. I go by where everybody calls me Diesel. I uh, grew up out here, born and raised. I just believed in uh, doing shit. I believed that we had a story to tell because it wasn't that many of us, black folk in general, if you grew up out here. Either you was on the south side or basically you was on the south side or you was just sprinkled throughout Glendale because they didn't even let black folks live in Glendale until the 70s. I'm born in 73, but... My daddy was Air Force, so we moved over to Glendale as fast as we could, you know, because he was hella militant and everything else. So 
I did my first bid over in Glendale. Then when I moved over here, I would, uh, we moved around, you know, the brothers and shit. I got around the brothers and I thought I had a bigger gang. I thought I was a part of a bigger gang. Like, y'all, hell yeah. Because, you know, shit, got more niggas its own. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, I ended up having to fight a few of these niggas out here on the west side, too. So I was like, you know, through it, throughout it all, I was always eager to work with people that was ready to work if you wasn't scared you didn't have if you had talent i was with it because i was competitive so everybody in our little circle had talent because they was all competitive and if they was gonna take your damn girlfriend they gonna write a song about it and <laughs> and, and, and talk yeah. about yo ass so you had to kind of come up and sharpen your skills you had to t learn how to take a few motherfucking women you know, you had to learn how to dirty Mac. You had to learn how to watch for the dirty Mac. You had to learn everything. So throughout it all, we ended up growing up, becoming men, surviving, because it's a lot of us not here. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of us not here. That's a whole different book. But um, the ones that did make it, we able to look at each other now and be like, damn. You know, remember when we fought? You know what I'm saying? Or remember when we got into it? Or remember when you at that? But not a lot of people can share those same type of, you know, stories and shit. A lot of these youngsters now don't know how much fun we used to have because, I mean, it's just unfathomable. Like, damn, I grew up in an era where they didn't even have shit on clothes. They didn't have the shit that, that would beep if you stole it. <laughs> yeah. just, go figure, nigga. We gonna get some clothes. We, we yep. need some clothes. We we need, man, we used to have so much clothes. We you couldn't tell us we wasn't famous when we was fucking broke. We yeah. So we figured it out. We just figured out how to, you know, just get out there and do shit and not be scared. Building studios in your fucking closet uh, was not something that was foreign to us. We, we, we self-taught a lot. Didn't know how to rap. I see motherfuckers that didn't know how to rap turn into some of the best writers. You know what I'm saying? When it came to, oh, that's what y'all doing is sitting down and really writing for for hours and shit. Like, hours. rewind that fucking beat. Rewind that shit. And then really competing. And then when it came down to it, like, I might, I knew everybody's shit. I knew your shit, his shit, his shit, my shit his shit, everybody shit in the group shit. So when we came to perform, it was like, you might as well do a good job at it. So when we did this veil thing, my oh, whole- You moving too fast when you got to the veil thing. Yeah, okay. I just want you to introduce yourself and give them a little rundown of where you came good. from. Don't get me to go in. No, but that's cool, because you, you, you went enough. <laughs> Bro, let these people know, you know who you is and where you come from. Man, I'm real from Cleveland. I'm a trash pet. Uh, I've been out here for a little over 10 years, maybe 12 years. <coughs> uh, man, transplant from Cleveland, uh, born and raised out that way. Got a, you know, a music background that I dealt with back that way and uh, came out this way with it and met with several different brothers from a couple different places because you know, Phoenix turned out to be a big melting pot. So, you know, I met different people from different places who, who had similar interests as me and directed me different ways. And, you know, I ran into brothers like, you know, like you, Freeze, and the other brothers that are here next to me now. And, man, it's been, it's been a whirlwind, but, you know, we, we trying to, you know, Put good content out there for the people, so you know y'all be on the lookout for season two when it drops. Okay, so now that shoots us back around again. Now we can get into the veil. Which, but I'm not starting with you. Don't start with me. I'm not because we've known each other for yeah. a long time. No, no, no. He no. just said he known us for ten. He been out here for ten years. Yeah. He don't even understand how long we've been knowing each other. Yeah, yeah. No, that's we we're not even gonna get into that part. Okay. We're gonna get into that in stories. Okay. And in conversation. Man, uh, you those know what are the saying? best things. Yeah, like in stories and in oh, conversation. Like, I don't know about but where did this idea come from? Uh, the veil? The veil. Um, the idea came from the God's Honest Truth Man. Somebody told me they was bored at work and they was and they and um I was texting 
and she was like, I was, I was like, what are you doing? And she was like, I'm watching these web series. And I was like, web series? I was like, what's that? She was like, you ain't never seen no web series on YouTube? And I was like, nah. So she gave me a few names, and I went out and checked up. I, I went on there and checked on a few. And I liked it, and I was like, oh, we doing this shit. And I was like, we got a story to tell. And so I got at Mike Mill, I got at Diesel, and I was like, we got, you know, I'm going to film. You know, Mike, you know, Mike all nonchalant, I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, that's what's up. But then when he seen that I had went and bought cameras, Mike was like, oh, you for real about this? And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting on it. And so with that, man, I got the cameras, started uh, putting auditions together, and, and got, got a few of the members that are, that are really originally from the Bell, and, you know, found Grill, man, and, and what made together. you pick Braille for the You know what, I seen, I seen Braille, man, and me and Braille were in the system together, but I, I wasn't there when he was filming, but I seen this part. He had a small part in the system. Uh, Shout-outs to, to director I, 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 Daniel's Rockadala. <coughs> you know, but I, I seen Braille in there, I seen his part in there, and I, and I called up I, I Rock, and I asked him, I was like, who, who was dude in the red shirt in the bell? And he was like, oh, that's Braille. <coughs> so he gave me Braille's info, and I pulled up on Braille. That's how that happened. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. How did you? How you in? I know. I know that this is one of your best friends. Oh yeah, since right. childhood, oh, But yeah. how did? How did this dude end up being the nigga that's shooting at the kids? <laughs> how did that? How did? How did he end? Because he plays this role. So, you know what? Like when this I, when role. I, when is I gave great. the writers the names, because I told everybody to pick their names. I gave the writers the names, and the writers went from there, man, and they just pieced it together. And I guess they went back off the names that everybody gave them. Diesel picked the name, heard them, and I figured. And I guess just just from their imagination and just they didn't even know Diesel. Just from their imagination and, and of the name of that name, they created heard them, mm-hmm. and it just so happened to fit Dees perfectly. Now, Dees, how do you perfectly. feel playing this role? How does this role? I like... didn't want to do this, but I wanted to do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to do it, but I had to do it right. It had to, I had I had a lot of input. I had a lot to say about how it was being done. And I wanted to do a good job. I feel like it was a rap that you present. And it's just like no different than writing a rap and then you doing it in front of a crowd and you want to present it to the crowd and see if it go over. Well, mm-hmm. this is your chance to make a first impression. Now, do you want shit to come out weak? reaching and grabbing at some stuff and trying to act like this and getting criticized for trying to be something that you're not that's what i didn't want to do mm-hmm. so i wanted to you know my thing is i wanted to be in it since i seen the system when i seen the system i was like hell no nah. i was like book i want to be in whatever is next <laughs> yeah i don't care what it is i want to be in it and i kept getting at him and telling him I don't care what it is I want to be in the shit like y'all done seen you play a military role you got punched up over there then you played the next role I want to be in the movie <laughs> fuck that you know so and then, and then the movie I was trying to come up with was way different so Bug was like well, we gonna do the Veil movie and so I was like oh, if we do that shit that shit gotta be done kind of right you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying we can't be talking like saying no cap and none of this stuff we don't even talk like that you know what i'm right, saying right. people that's from here is from here and that's really from the veil and really know yeah. the history like right. really know the you culture know, yeah. of the of, of the area yeah. first off we, we we know it's a melting pot like he's like he said and shout out to hurt him rest in peace hurt him i took that name from my dude resting in peace i met in painesville ohio mm-hmm. going out to meet my dog my best one of my closest people I used to look up to, he used to do our move, uh, our, our whole movement, he was behind it, named Pound for Pound, but he was hand-picking talent, he was like good at what he could do, plus he could make music, and he had a uh, he had a vision for us, right, so we chopped it up a lot, but uh, back to back to that, I went out there, and I met his family, and I went out there, I, I knew his little brother, you know, we came real close, we like family now, so, and I met one of his partners out there, and his name was Hurtum, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, we got, the, you know, he got the rapping and whatnot, and I was like, okay, I like your little name, heard of him, and he ended up getting, passing away, do some violence or whatnot, but uh, when he said, what's your name, I said, I'm heard him. See, I didn't even know that. <laughs> so, you know, that was how I got that name, but then I wanted to play a good role at the same time, and then, you know, just make him, make him know I could, I could really do this, I could, I could go there, you know what I'm saying, my nigga, I could cry. 
You know what I'm saying? Put me in front of a camera, I could bow. <laughs> yeah. I do in front of, if you could go in front of the judge, that's where the best acting is done. Now, I've been in front of the judge. Yeah. Even yeah. though the shit didn't go my way, I tried. Yeah. The best acting I had to, that I could muster up. Nigga, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Nigga, no, he lying. <laughs> but you trying. That's all that counts. That's all that counts. You're trying to persuade these motherfuckers. Like, I didn't know. What are you talking about, Your Honor? <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, stall me out. You know the words. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit, so, you know. Fuck it. No, Best acting is done in court. That was dope. Yeah. Bro, how did it feel playing this lead role in a foreign city that you're kind of like implanted into and you playing such a dominant representation and you did a great job? So like I commend you, my hat is tipped. Like Appreciate you, when I when I when I watched it, the first thing that came to my mind was they picked the right person. You know, I think I think that that's one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. Because if we saying, oh, we doing something about Veil, the first thing you wanna do is be like, why Boog ain't the, the the nigga who the main nigga, or why Mike Mill, or why we ain't got somebody like a Mo or somebody like a like a Blue. Or Before somebody Braille like even a... speaks. He is play, he's playing Mike Mill's part. Mike Mill was supposed to play, but Mike Mill was like, I don't want to be the main character. I just want to hop in and out. Mm -hmm. and, and this and that. So that's that's that's. What so I that's did. how Braille got the part. You hearing it now first, live exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Mike Mill. Much love. A lot of respect to the OG. He hold us down. Been holding me down for. You know, <laughs> all the way back since I was dancing and helping get me in the <laughs> venues through the back though. You feel me? Like so when I wasn't even old enough to yeah, get in, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Him and Hums and them making sure yeah. I got home at twelve, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like <laughs> shout out all of them from back in the day. But but that's dope. So elaborate on that, Braille, because that's like I know that 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 that, that plays a, 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 a serious like mental thing like just with niggas like bro that nigga ain't from the bell or that nigga did it and like how do you deal with that knowing that it's is coming from in I my opinion it. a place of jealousy yeah, shit. I've heard it plenty of times. shit i watched it with some niggas complaining oh really who from the bell oh and i have to tell the nigga like bro hold on calm down Let's just be fans right I now. I never bro. heard it. I never yeah, heard it. I had to tell no. one of my partners. Yeah. I had to say, hey, bro, <laughs> just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> we not, I said, they, let's, they were saying it at the, pre, at the premiere. That's what I'm no, saying. I'm talking about while we were still filming it. When we were just like maybe an episode or two in, I was hearing shit. Bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, I was, Man, because I'm I open got, to shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's just who I am. They probably didn't have an you know understanding of what we was doing at all. You know what I mean? That, but, but. I didn't is, have an understanding of it. Like, really, you know, I didn't understand how deep it was. They was like, man, like, out of all the people white, who is that? We never seen him before. But, you know, it was like, man, this is a fucking movie, goddammit. We got an actor. That's a professional actor from hey, fucking... Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. We want him to tell us how he <laughs> felt about it, bro. Yeah. I didn't know, but this is new to me. But that shit shocked me. Like, damn, it shocked me too. that. But... Well, I like you. You make for good TV. <laughs> you, man, you heard them for real. Man, shit. Hey, don't shoot my shit up. No, don't man. shoot my shit up. Man, that shit, that shit, that shit. But, yeah. but okay, so, so you, you know, we, we know you had. You, it go was ahead. Pressure. It, was pressure. it was a little I mean, pressure. I, I, I definitely feel pressure um, to, especially have a, a, a larger role. You know, shout out to to I Rock again for show. You know, that's a big bro for show. You know what I'm saying? He put me in not not only the system, I was in Blood Inc. for a very hot <coughs> second. You know what I'm saying? He made sure that that's, that made it <laughs> and didn't hit the floor or whatever. But, uh, man, it, just living out here and, and, like, I had family, but I had to make my own way, like, branch off from, like, what they was doing and everything. So, like. Just the person that I am and the people that I ran into and, and, and in communication with even like still to this day makes me feel to a degree like I'm from out here. You know part what I'm saying? Like part man, of the I'm, 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 I'm one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not they come up in conversation or not, yeah. Arizona is my home. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I'm, I go 
from whatever side, but, you know, mainly was in Maryville, you know, not knowing how serious that was, but, you know, the people who ended up in the program that were from there. And then when I got the call, I thought it was Jay Love, not Jay Bug. He was like, <laughs> I'm thinking it's somebody else coming mm -hmm. to meet me, and they was coming to holler at me about a project. And I, you know, but yeah, yeah meet me around yeah. the corner type shit. I walk around and I'm like, Damn, I don't know these niggas and shit. Like, kind of shook a little bit. These niggas really first, look like man, the niggas like, on the man, on the movie. I'm like, damn, is this a setup <laughs> type of shit? Like, that was my first thought when when when, when it first went down. But uh, nah, yeah, man, who I was when I pulled when I met him, I called him on the phone. I'm like, I know this nigga pulled face. up, but he he didn't know who I was. Yeah, and I'm like, like yeah, I'm the one that called you, man. I want you to be in the movie. He was like. Mm -hmm. Did you? Did you? Did he? So he didn't even know who Jay Bug was. Uh, uh, no, so, so you found out his Bug. celebrity through the process of filming this project. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. That's another exclusive. Yeah. That's exciting. <laughs> that's exciting because that's another exclusive. because you. I, I knew I knew a little bit of, uh, about uh, Mike Mill because uh, uh, who turned out later on. I find out th through. The filming process of this, uh, his uh, Diesel little brother was one of my partners back in the day and shit. We used to kick it real tough and shit. So that's why I'm asking you this because so. when 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 I remember when you first came out here right. and you was you was hanging out in the area around where my mom and my sister and them live and you was in Maryville. Right. So you was in that area, right. like moving in that area and I would see you in that area all the time and it's like how could you be in that area and not know who the Don of, the of that is. area. You, you know what I'm saying? This is how small the world is. He was hanging out with my little brother and Rabbit, Pound for Pound's mm -hmm. nephew. Now Pound for Pound was my OG and that was who we did all of our music. Oh, weirdos music. My little brother and him, they used to sell their music and do they have their own little thing. I didn't even know this. I had no clue. That he put together. I had to come to him and he put the CDs cover together. So, yeah. you know, it's just, man, I've been networking with the people that have been here since I've been here. Since he was I, tangled in the web before he moved. Oh, yeah, he didn't even oh, know yeah. he was in the web. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I knew what it was, but I didn't know the, the different connections and how deep they were. And, you know, times had before, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just me being me, you know, I, 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 I try not to be on no funny shit, no fake shit, playing too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight to the point. We out some business, we can smoke chill or whatever, but, you know, I really want to be on some building type of shit. And brother hit me up on building, and yeah, man. And y'all built a, a dope ass web series. My yeah. first time, bro, I was nervous, man. But, yeah. What's up with that goddamn song, bro? That shit is so. Oh like, man, yeah, man. I, is... uh, I wrote that in the car, bro. I was driving, wrote that in the car. Man, my I... homie that got the little studio when we recorded it. Man, when I heard it, yeah, I've you know I've I've, I've performed on shows that you've been on. Yeah. And I've watched you perform, and we've been around this circuit together. Yeah. And one thing that I've grown to really have an appreciation for is your performance. Yeah. And your delivery. And when I hear a record that you attacking, I already know your delivery. Yeah. Like I know that yeah. that's you off yeah. top. Like yeah. that's that's book. Yeah. And when I heard the record come on, it makes me like the intro. Who yeah. whose idea was it to make the intro like that and then put the picture of the youngsters on there? Like I did that, man. That's I, dope, I, yeah, bro. I took pictures. I went out, took pictures of little hot spots in Maryville, and um, and, and went and dropped the song. Put the little, you know, I had my had my one of my camera dudes put everything together for the. Intro, and, um, yeah, Braille. He always say, "Man, that's the second. The bell is the second best uh, theme, intro, music, uh, theme intro. music. Yeah, intro song for anything besides power. He's like, the bell is the second best. Yeah, that shit is <laughs> like, like no, not not you know, not not taking nothing from the series, but the song makes you yeah. want to watch it. Yeah." I didn't even you know, know we plugged all of the names and I had to go back and listen. Oh, yeah, you gotta listen to it. I, 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 I said, 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 I yeah. 
Yeah, I'll split everybody. <laughs> no, that yeah, shit is split, dope, man. He split it in yeah, slick. I was like, dope. oh, you did that? I was like, oh, I have yeah, to go back and listen dope. to it again. <laughs> that shit is dope, man. I'm blo- like, I told you, I'm a fan. Like, I am really a fan of the series. I've watched the whole series like three times. Yeah, we've been getting you know great reviews like, from it, man. Great reviews. And, 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 I'm, and I'm happy, man. I'm glad that everybody liked it. We got to get you in there. It's one in there. Everybody that watched it. We got to get you in the series, man. Because one thing about it is, was, was when we were talking about it, we talk about it, we bounce ideas. And the biggest part of that that makes it yeah, we all you up. work we is we get a chance to include Everybody, everybody we know. Yeah. So if we really tell the story and touch out and start including everybody we know, well, hell, we know everybody. Mm-hmm. It'll turn into something more interesting because we've got a talent out here. Even though everybody ain't signed and everybody ain't going to do something big, we got talent out here. You see Speaking what of talent, on the movie, I mean, on, on the series, y'all got Cinco in there. Yes, sir. And he plays a strip club owner. Yes, sir. Boy, that that dude played the shit out of that role, yeah, man. He, did. he played that. He did. he, he nipped. He bro, did. The whole series has great acting, bro. Yeah. Like it's just you motherfuckers did your job. Yeah. That's you know right. What I'm That's right. But <laughs> whose whose idea was it to make this nigga the the, the pimp nigga who the writers? Because he we, do it's look. damn near like he do that in real life. So he was playing himself. But not playing itself. Yeah. He got to bring a lot of his own personality to the character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Brittany and, and, and Lonnie for writing that. Lonnie Lowe mm-hmm. and Brittany Noel, they they wrote it. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they didn't really know too much about Maryville. I had to tell them about it. And uh, you know, Brittany, she's kinda she's kinda well, I really don't know how old Brittany is, but you know, I guess she's with the young crowd and stuff. That's why Deezy was saying we don't talk like no cap and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it was little things in there like that, but we just switched it up a little bit and talk how we talk. You yeah. Know, but, but she's a great writer. Lonnie's a great writer. Those are the two that wrote it. And Cinco was under pressure, believe it or not, because he felt like we wasn't being inclusive with him. So he was adamant about knowing his part. Yeah. And now he's like, I know my part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was on it. Man. He did what do you mean? I know my part. Thing. He was on it. He yeah, he character. did a real good job, bro. Yeah. He did a real yeah, good job. Was, yeah, I, like yeah. I also like the lady who played your girlfriend. Right, Gemini. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the role she played. She yeah. played, um, I think in the next series she needs to get a little bit more camera time. Oh, yeah. Maybe add in another female or something. Just give a little bit more oh, yeah. female yeah, presence. We got, we, got, we got a surprise but, with her, so but she's um yeah, she yeah. was a she was refreshing. Yeah. You know, when you picked her up and put her on the table, I was ready to watch you fuck the shit out of her. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm like, oh hold on, I got up in my seat. I'm like I'm like finally Yeah, yeah undress, undress that boy. Yeah, like, oh, that. Ooh, he gonna, yeah. I'm yeah. dropping everything. I'm yeah. like, man, he about to tear that up. You thought you was, you thought we well, was finna really see some shit. He yeah, like, you know, this is the good ass this fucking is, movie. Man, man this is like, hell, shit. This is, <laughs> they finna show us some pity and stuff yeah. that we finna see. You know, something. next. Yeah. So, so just for further reference, you know, just for you know, just a little input from from the streets. Right. You know, <laughs> you ain't got to show us no nipples or nothing, but you maybe y'all might big. wanna. You Do know, a add a little something, something in it. Yeah, like show us a little something. And it don't have to be her. Just whoever, you know, because, yeah. um, you know, Add sex sales, sex it just adds content. more of a, Add more of a like, sexual content. But it just, it. it just, at that point, it was just so real. The conversation they was having as she was yeah. stuck in the food and all that was going yeah. on, like, it was just so real. Yeah. You know, and then he, when he turned around and they, and he looked her in her eyes and they, you know, said what they said and he picked her up and put her on the table. All that was left was for you to just... You don't even have to show the act, but mm-hmm. engage, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And show a little bit more, just so that the viewer's mind could go a little bit more yeah. with yeah. it. Because that shit love. is dope, bro. Like, young love yeah. on, on camera. Bro, that's yeah, the one thing I hate up. about all movies. So when I start making my movies, I'm leaving all love scenes out. Like, all of my movies, I'm not putting no love in my movie. It's like, because in, in my study of scripts and different things, it's only like about 25 scripts. And they rework these same scripts throughout yeah, whole, yeah. all of life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And damn near every script or every movie has a love scene. And that's to keep the woman involved and keep the, you know, when y'all sitting there watching the show together or whatever. But I just don't feel that. So when I... It got to be a realer 
version of it. Yeah, if it's not gonna like, be a you know real, how you, you fucking don't say fuck and be mad still. Like oh, that's what I'm saying. You know, show me that. Yeah, that, that's gonna go sell that. on camera. I'm We're gonna put it on there first. That's yeah. why I, I won't do it if it's not right. <laughs> 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 hey, like you know what I'm saying? Like I was earlier today. We was in the studio, and and one of the little dudes was on Facetime with his girl, and he like, baby. I'm like, um, when when I get home, I'm a I'm a I'm a slide in, you know, I slide in and wake you up, this and that. She was like, you already did that last night. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, shit. I want some more. I want some more. She was <laughs> like, I don't want to get raped again. And I'm like, wow. wow. Like, but then when they got off the phone, it was like, I love you. I love <clears> you. <throat> you feel me? So it wasn't in a perspective of like really a rape, but just like in a perspective of like, nigga, I'm asleep. I gotta go to work in the morning. Yeah. I don't you wanna... done took a sex pill and woke me yeah, up. Yeah, like you done woke ready. me up off a of, off of, off of <laughs> blue dolphin. Or yeah, blue nigga. Don't, like, you nigga know. ain't gonna tell you he done slipped the pill. You know, I took a fuck pill. I'm not telling you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you in one way or another. Yeah, you give me some of that pussy. Yeah. You gonna find out the hard way. I'm gonna hump you hard. I'm gonna tell you when this dick get up yeah. in you. Fuck your tongue yeah, out. Yeah, You're crazy. Yeah. Hey, you niggas is crazy, yeah. man. Hey, we need to sit down and write something, cause like, man. Man. like I, I, um, I got some ideas of some things I want to do, and just after watching Let's what do y'all it. was doing, like you, you guys are amazing, man. It's real dope. Um, we gonna go ahead and and, and get up out of here, man. You know, finish smoking or something, but. Um, when when can the people here dude, give me some? But we not we not done yet. You know what I'm saying? But when should the people be looking for season two? When should um, they be? Or where is the? You know what I'm saying? Like the YouTube? Do they need to subscribe to the yeah, YouTube? Yeah, subscribe to or? the YouTube channel, the Bell Web Series YouTube channel, and um, they're gonna get all the info information from there. You mm-hmm. know, uh, I, I really don't want to give away too much, but you know, we, we connect them with the South Side in, in yeah. the second season, so. And so, but when can we be expecting season two? Like, I want to put you on a hot seat. Like, shut up. You know, like, is it coming in May? Is it coming in June? Is it coming coming in August? Should it, will it be here in September? Who asked can we get on? Who can, yeah, so come on, man. I need a commitment. It's going to be, it's going to be soon. I'm a fan, bro. I told y'all I ran through the episode. What 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 happened for y'all real soon? Real, real yeah, soon. but we got to hurry up because <laughs> yeah. I want you yeah, know summertime is coming soon. and I would really like to just vibe yeah, out and know, watch that man. Like, know, we 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 get some answers when we break what like hundred thousand views. Yeah, hundred thousand views. Hundred thousand views. Man. So what can we do to drop? What what do we need? What support? Just what do we need to do? Like we need to drop something new. We need all our friends to subscribe. To sell, to sell the to old. Subscribe. Something yeah. new to sell the old. Always. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We need some commercials then. Yes, sir. We need something we need some commercials. Get me something. Y'all get me something. Get with Lonnie, get with whoever, and get this me right something. Here, this right like, here, when this airs, it's probably going to double this the is gonna, views. This is going to hit the streets. It's going to double the views. No, this is going to hit the streets. Right. You you know, this is Southside and Maryville yeah, connected. Yeah, like, this is going to hit the streets. Yeah. So they about to watch this, and they going to vibe, and they going to be laughing at your ass. And they're going to be like, that nigga that was coughing as <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then now they're going to know who Braille is, all the girls yeah. who trying to figure out who that handsome dude is, who's yeah. playing the lead role. Like, who who is that dude? Now they yeah. know who he is. All the people yeah. who like, where Boog being? Where the music at? Where the da 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 Now they know what's popping. You know what I'm saying? That's what this platform is for. Yeah. Because, like, like I said in the beginning, my friends is just as dope as the rest of these yeah. niggas' friends. Yeah. You know, I got friends that's tough. making movies. Real tough. I got friends who Real can out rap your friends. <laughs> you know, I got friends who Real who just tough. as gangsta as your friends. You dig what I'm saying? Whatever your friends can do, my friends can do too. And if you can take out the time to highlight your friends, why can't I take out the time to highlight my exactly. friends? Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So that's all exactly. I'm doing is just using my opportunity and my platform to just shine more light on what y'all got going on. Because the bell is... Ask Lonnie. I've been on Lonnie head. We're going to do this same interview again. So we're going to have a part two coming. And so I want to kind of lead the people and just keep them going with it. You know what I'm saying? Part two, man. They'll be seeing the trailer for, uh, you know, the next season. So... Yeah, because that's what we're trying to do, man. We want to bring the girls in and oh, bring yeah. all of y'all. And then we're going to go down right. to the hive, to the big set. Yeah, let's do it. And right. just sit out and do it right. Adding some of these but, sets into the, we got, I mean, we got, this is just, to me, one example of us working together. Mm-hmm. This is just one. The whole, the veil thing is just a project that turned out good because when cats got serious and had to do it, they, they worked is together. Is Lil' Dutta still in here? Little Dutta. 
What what did you tell me the other day about what a genius is or whatever? What you say it is? Oh, no. um, what's a mastermind? Okay, you know what I'm saying? So in uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, he say a mastermind is a group of people that specialize in different, you know what I'm saying, different fields, different aspects, and they put their all that shit together, you know what I'm saying, to can, uh, you know what I'm saying, to function conducively, you feel me? Yeah.